So I did 41 years on a homicide conviction that I didn't do. And I learned early, early on that there's certain people that nobody listens to. I knew how important it was for us to have a voice that other people can hear. I met David early uh, after I got out. Uh, he was one of my first allies out here. Him and his team were always there to help us when we needed something. And uh, David is one of the few people who not having had the experience of being shackled in a cage has, he completely understood what I was talking about. There's a man with his family in Oregon right now who would have been in prison for the next 90 years if it wasn't for them. I'm, I'm just grateful for what he does and the, the programs that he's, he's been uh, running for so long on his own, out of his own pocket mostly, uh, has now been impacted because uh, there, are, there are people trying to stop what he does. And uh, I, for one, am going to uh, do whatever I can to make sure that what he does keeps going. And uh, I, I hope that the people who are listening to this right now understand that he makes such a big difference to the guys in there uh, and the people they get out that uh, if he was not doing what he did, uh, I think there would be a lot more people going back to prison. So I spent a lot of time, you know, on university job forums like Handshake. And luckily, the Vanguard Court Watch internship was one of the first internships that I saw. And the description was just so welcoming for college students. And I think that that's one of the best values of the Vanguard. It's just how open it is to people with, you know, very little work experience or very little, you know, experience in the field, but are passionate and want to do something much greater. I just applied for it and then I got in. I had so many amazing mentors like along the way that kind of showed me the ropes, taught me a lot about journalism. I was able to not only improve as a writer, but also through, you know, my observation of horror, I learned a lot about the criminal justice system in a way that I wouldn't have ever learned from a history class or from a political science class or any class because, you know, you're seeing the reality of it right in front of your eyes. And I think just the work that we do at the Vanguard was just so formative to my experience as a student. And it made me want to go to law school. So the Vanguard is just one of those places that are kind of like a hub, I feel, for students to grow. It's one of the few opportunities that college students really have to directly get involved in such good and passionate work. And I'm just so grateful that I found the Vanguard. Thank you, David, for creating this internship for students, because I know that if I did not have this opportunity, I would not be where I am in life now. I spent 18 years in prison for a murder that I did not commit. So I ended up transferring from prison in 2021 to UCLA. I've been reading about the Vanguard and I'd also heard about it myself when I was inside. Just at first started writing as an intern, but someone reached out to me and David and I struck up a conversation. So we created a little section of a journalism guild so that people inside can publish their work and go without having to go through the baffles of censorship of CDCR. This project has really meant a lot to me. I'm really happy to be an ally here. So I'm looking really forward to leaving some of these alliances in place and being able to help David in this last phase of pulling the would-be muck of the IRS off of us so we can continue regaining some forward traction and moving forward and try to continue to help people. David's brainchild, the Vanguard Incarcerated Press, is really taking off because where else are these stories going to get told? We're going to have a story in our next issue about a guy that was attacked by a police dog for doing nothing but just slamming a phone down and he bit him all the way to the bone. I mean, who else tells those stories? Our mission is to shine light on the darkest corners of America's criminal justice system and it's we just can't do enough to shine that light because most people have no idea what's going on. I mean, it's just this horrific dehumanization campaign that we're fighting against. You've seen all of what we're doing. And unfortunately, we do it on a very small shoestring budget. Anything you can do to help, 
um, is greatly appreciated.